Okay, so this is going to be, and I really hope it's recording the right screen, because now that I'm thinking about it, it might be recording the wrong screen. Well, I guess I'll find out. Anyway, uh, this is going to be our second video of four for day four of unit four in algebra two, a whole bunch of numbers. Anyway, um, in this video, we're basically ans answering the second EQ. We're talking about um, the inverse uh, of an exponential function, right? So let's jump right in. So if we wanted to calculate F inverse, so the inverse of F right here, right? Well, nothing changes. We have F equals 10 to the X. Our first step when we're doing this is to flip X and F or G or whatever letter we're using as the dependent variable. So I'm going to say X is now equal to 10 to the F. So my job to find the inverse of F is to get this F by itself. The resulting function obviously is our inverse. Uh, so I need to do the inverse of exponential base 10. Well, the inverse of exponential base 10 is log base 10. So I'm just going to say log base 10 of both sides. And you're probably wondering, well, duh, you know, you're not putting a base right here, right? Well, in case you forgot, if there's no base listed there, it's assumed to be log base 10. Okay, so took log base 10 of both sides, log base 10, exponential base 10 are inverses, they <clears throat> cancel, and I'm done. F inverse, right, I got F by itself. F inverse, obviously, is going to be uh, log X. So the inverse of 10 to the X power is log base 10 of X. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, so g of x okay so now i have got e to the x power right and in the do now before we start this lesson in the do now we talk about this um but if we have log base e right we call that ln right so getting ahead of myself but let's go ahead and rewrite this so g equals e to the x then we're going to do the flipperoo x equals e to the g the inverse of exponential base E is log base E, a.k.a. ln for natural log. Remember, E is the natural log, right? The, or my bad. E is the natural exponential base. Okay, so ln of both sides. Okay, so, and to look at that another way, right? This is what we're doing, ln is the same thing as log base e, okay? Right? Either way, we see natural log and natural base, right? They cancel, and what we're left with is what we want. G inverse, right? This guy here, G inverse is going to be equal to ln x, also known as log base e of x. Okay, so pretty straightforward there. Um, not rocket sciencing anything whatsoever. Okay, inverses are not a difficult concept. Okay, let's keep going. So now we are looking at h of x. So h is equal to 2, uh, this is getting a little uglier, times 4 to the x plus 1 power. Right? And again, we're going to flip a root, so this becomes x equals 2 times 4 to the h plus 1, right? And we're going to work from the outside in, quote unquote, so I'm going to divide by 2. So now I've got x over 2 is equal to 4 to the h plus 1, right? The inverse of exponential base 4 is log base 4. Right? And now I'm here. Okay, and I'm going to just subtract one from both sides. And I get that I run out of room. Uh, h inverse is going to be equal to, yeah, I can't make it fit. I was going to try and be a superhero and make that fit there somehow, but it ain't happening. Anyway, I get that h inverse uh, is going to be equal to log base 4 of x over 2 all minus one okay simple 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 okay and last one while i debate what color to use 
Okay, so m of x. So m is equal to one half times e to the x minus three, all plus one. This one's significantly more complicated than how I started, but still not that bad. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this all around. So now I have x is equal to one half times e to the uh, m minus three, all plus one. And just like on the previous example, right? I'm working from the outside in. Okay, so I'm gonna subtract one, multiply by two, and then do natural log. Okay, so I'll come over here next. I got some more room here. So I'm gonna subtract one from both sides. Okay, then I'm gonna multiply by two on both sides so I can cancel this one half because they're reciprocals. They're gonna cancel into a one. So I multiply by two on both sides. So now I've got two times X minus one uh, is equal to E to the M minus three. Okay, and the inverse of exponential uh, base E is log base E, AKA natural log. So I'm gonna say natural log of two times x minus one um, is equal to now just m minus three, right? And running out of room again, m inverse, all I'm gonna do now is just do plus three, the inverse of that, right? All I'm gonna do now is just add three to both sides. So m inverse is simply equal to natural log of two times x minus one, all plus three. And I'm done. Okay, so again, simple working from the outside in. We're just undoing. So you switch the variables, right? And then you just get the dependent variable by itself again. Um, nothing really new there. Okay, nothing really new there. We've been calculating inverses for a long time in this class. Um, so just like anything else, calculate inverses, uh, get the dependent variable by itself again, and you have the inverse. Okay, so if you have any questions about how to do this, come see me or shoot me an email. Goodbye.